Hey everyone, welcome to Tuesday Tips, episode 18. Today's not more a tip, more as how to avoid a common mistake I see actually a lot of keepers make. Um, I think this tip is actually going to be pretty surprising to a lot of people and will definitely be one of the more helpful ones as I've seen some very fast keepers uh, make this mistake a lot. So, um, that kind of is a disclaimer, I'm going to be making some general claims about what I think is more and less likely to happen. Um, I don't actually have, I've never looked at the statistics for these things. These are kind of just based on my gut, but after doing, you know, like a couple hundred thousand solves, you kind of get a good idea of what's going on. So, um, today's specific tip or thing to avoid is trying to save, trying to save unnecessary luck on your last four edges, or pretty much in general, but more specifically the last four edges. So what I'm talking about here is, I'll give you an example. Say we're doing five by five, and uh, this is our last, we just, we paired up seven edges, this is our eighth edge right here, and... We insert, we kind of, we, this is our last wrong edge, and we insert our last edge, and we finish top, top four edges, bottom four edges, we're done with our eight edges, what we have to do next is we slice back our centers to solved, and we see, oh wow, we already have these two wing, or this wing and center already matched up, it'd be, that's so lucky, um, unfortunately if we slice back, we're gonna lose it, we should slice here to save that wing and center, and I'm sure tons of you out there do this a lot, and I've seen really fast people do it, and you really should not be doing this, honestly, ever. So, why you shouldn't be doing this is because this is going to happen anyways. Um, like, the, the amount of time you're wasting by doing this flip is, you're pretty much completely wasting it because this is already going to be, um, this is already going to happen. Um, Say like in this case, like I already had, you already have a two a two wings lined up here, so this is pretty much completely wasted. Um, it seems like a really nice trap to have because you do if you do this flip, oh you see that you already know which edge you're gonna solve first. You're gonna do your white and orange edge, and you're immediately gonna stop looking at which edge, not which edge is just in front of me. You should be looking at which edge is actually the easiest to solve, and. By kind of putting your blinders up and immediately looking at this first edge, you're um, you're kind of cutting out all the potential luck you could be getting in the other three edges. And I'll just tell you this right now for a five x five, you almost always it's ridiculously ridiculously rare to not have uh, a, one of your last four edges have at least two pieces already made together. Or well, like this would count. There's two pieces correct. Any just where there's two pieces in the same edge, it's it's obscenely rare. And there's almost no reason to um, kind of waste it. Um, kind of another way of looking at it, say you slice back, and say you slice back and there is a 2x1 kind of sitting over here. Your first move should obviously be to finish this 2x1 as there's only one piece left. But now instead of doing that, you actually waste an entire flip by making a 2x1. You wasted a whole flip just to make a 2x1 when one was literally already given to you, so you shouldn't be doing that. Um, this is a very this is a specific example of the entire thing I'm talking about, and you should you should definitely not be doing this two by one save on five by five. Um, this tip can definitely be applied to six and seven as well. It's a little more of a gray area on kind of at what point are you so lucky that you should be saving pieces when you're slicing when you're slicing back on your last four edges. What is kind of lucky enough to where you should waste a flip, use a flip to save it? Um, and this is going to vary based on your speed as Say in the five by five scenario, the really the slower you are, or what was I doing? I forget. But the slower you are, the more the more time you're using to kind of identify which pieces, which edge is the best, which one you're looking for, and doing one flip relative to that time is low. And you might be able to do your one flip, and that was fast, and now you're comfortable because you know where that edge is, and you don't have to look. And maybe looking to find the best edge would have taken you a couple seconds, and that's just too long for you. However, as you get better, finding the best edge is going to take you, like, it does top 5x5ers five five less than half a second or almost instantly. You're already going to know which one you're doing just because you kind of scanned it as you were finishing, and that's going to be a huge waste of time. Um, here's another example on 6x6. Six six. So we're finishing, we have our four incorrect edges, um, we're sliced, and this is our last edge we're inserting. So we insert, we see, wow, we have a 2x2 two two here. In this case, this is pretty specific dependent on how advanced you are at 6x6 last four edges. So I'm going to make a full video on this much, much later. It's very, very 
six by six last before I just can get incredibly complicated. But if you're kind of a more newer solver, this outer two by one is fairly convenient on six by six, and you're not gonna be able to save anything else as you can only save two pieces because there's a four. The length of the center is only four, so it's not the worst thing in the world. But honestly, a lot of times, a lot of times you're not gonna get you're not gonna get something like this just magically to appear. But you will. It's okay. It's almost impossible to get if you've got if you get every single edge has one piece from each edge that's like the mo like one of the rarest things to possibly get on 6x6 six six last for edges um it's probably similarly rare i don't know but similarly rare to skipping the last four edges which is also unbelievably insane so you will pretty much always have two pieces together so um whether or not saving it is also kind of dependent on where you are and what it's worth but I guarantee you, as you get more advanced, um, saving pieces is going to become much, much, much less ideal and almost always isn't going to be the kind of the way to go. It's going to be much better to slice all the way back and then quickly see what you have before kind of committing to any slice moves. Um, this can also be applied on 7x7. Obviously, I haven't set anything up for this, but it's pretty much the exact same theory. Whether or not saving a piece via slice, via, uh, via flip, is kind of worth it when you're slicing back in the last four edges. So uh, definitely something to think about. And um, I know kind of talking about advanced last four edges, I kind of glazed over it really quick, but there'll be a much more in-depth video to come because that stuff gets pretty crazy.